Welcome back, football fans. Chris Durrell here with patreon.com slash Jaegerbombs. What I want to do here today is just kind of give you a quick overview of the NFL tools for fan share sports. As you can see, uh, scrolling across on the bottom here, kicking off the NFL season, the 2021 NFL season, fan share is offering a yearly package for $99.95 that gets you access also to their PGA tools. Um, that's not all. If you sign up using promo code Jaeger, you're also going to get 20% off um, using that promo code. So get over there, check that out. But what I want to do here, they also have a free trial, as you, as you can see here, if you want to go check that out, first of all. But uh, get get that deal. If, you, if you're looking at possibly signing up for a year, get in on that right away. That ends on September 12th. Um, but what I want to do here is just kind of give you a quick overview of the tools going into the 2021 season. And then in future videos, I'm gonna go over how I use it for GPPs, how I use it for my lineup construction in terms of using their optimizer um, and their research tools each and every week when I'm doing my articles uh, to find the research information I'm looking for as well. There's been a lot of additions to that side of things as well. So with that, let's dig right in. And I just wanna just kick right off, um, show you, you know, if you go up here in the NFL, you see trending newsfeed players and Fanshare Pro. You will also find they click on any one of those, and now those are all across the top. So the difference here is trending, much like PGA is where you're going to find what people are talking about today, what's trending. That's where you're going to find articles from all over um, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, um, every all that kind of content. So it's really good for that. <clears throat> Newsfeed is tracking who's, who's buzzing right now, who's being talked about the most. Players would be for your player research. Um, kind of like PGA we went over, so make sure you can always go back and check that video as well. But you can come here and you can search any player in the NFL and you can kind of have a look at their trending ownership, uh, their trending points, any given week, that sort of information. We're going to have a lot of more of that information once we get the season going and we have some more stats. But what I like to use, um, I'm going to go over to the Fanshare Pro here real quick. And instead of talking about the ownership dashboard off the bat, we're going to talk about research. And I use this every single week when I'm doing my articles. Um, I used to put in hours and hours of time trying to get this data into my own cheat sheets um, that I have that I put out each and every week over on Patreon, um, Jaeger Bombs Fantasy Sports. It just took so much darn time and they just do such a wonderful job of it that I actually use this now. So right now I've got it on week four postseason. Actually, let's go and change it and let's just go look at uh, week 17 last year. We'll punch that in, we'll hit apply filter. Now, what you can do on a single week basis is come in here and look at uh, FanDuel points, um, what their projected ownership was versus their FanDuel or DraftKings points, um, that sort of stuff, scoring, you know, averages, and just kind of research all that data. But what I really like to do and what I'm going to be using as the season goes on is really, you know, picking out um, a few of those games. So, like, for instance, if you wanted to see who did the best on average over, let's say, the last four weeks of the season – you just come in here and you start clicking week 17, 16, 15, whatever weeks you'd like. And once you get that all in that drop down box, you click that apply filter, then you start seeing these averages a little bit better. So um, maybe come week five, we start breaking down on the video, um, you know, who's been doing the best average FanDuel points, um, average DraftKings points versus their ownership that they've been over the first four weeks, ownership over the first four weeks, a lot of data, data to analyze there. Um, as the season goes on. So this is going to be a place I'm going to spend a lot of my time. I'm going to be referencing this a lot um, when I'm going to be talking about my videos um, in the upcoming weeks for the season. So then the other thing here on the Fanshare Pro is the ownership dashboard. So right now I've got it on week 17 just to kind of give you a look of what it looks like. So first of all, just like the PGA, you can come to this column visibility um, there is a lot of information across the top here. And if you scroll over this bar that you can see how much information is actually there. If you don't use all of that information, if you go through it and find that you don't want all of that on your visual, or even if you're using a screen that's much smaller than mine, um, or even on your phone and you want to see less information, come up to this column visibility. Uh, blue means you're going to see it. And if you uh, click off of it, it's just going to change and you can see all of that coming off there. So you can just kind of organize it, whatever makes, uh, you know, what's appealing to your eye. You can also change how many rows you see. So if you want to see all players, it's going to take a little bit of time um, to process that, but you'll be able to see all the players if you would like. Shouldn't have done that. It's going to take some time now, but we'll just kind of go across here. Um, so you can also come up here. You can 
use the filters to change the salary. Um, you can change the slate each week. So if we actually wanted to come and look, if we just go up to 2021 week one, we come down here and we go Dallas Tampa showdown captain, apply filter. It's going to take us to last night's slate. Antonio Brown at the top um, in terms of tags. This showdown isn't, I use it more for the main slate. The showdown tools are coming along, but this is just kind of a look at that kind of stuff and how you can go and choose the slate. You can go back in time. Like I was on week 17 before. So I'm going to come on here and go back down to main slate classic. And then that gives us some more options here. Uh, week 14 last year, if you wanted to go have a look. So if you see a specific matchup, then you want to know how, how high owned that player was in this matchup last year, especially in like a division game sort of thing. You could definitely go back and start researching that way as well. So there's multiple ways to go back and research um, each and every week using Fanshare. And that's just the tip of the iceberg because we then have, um, I can't actually go and star players on old slates, but if we're working, looking at this week's slate, and this is going to be something I'm going to be covering um, in my closer look at the deeper dive, I guess you could say, into the actual uh, lineup optimizer. But you're going to come along as you do your research and you're going to star players that you like. And then what you're going to do up here at the top is you're going to go to build, um, and this is where you're going to build. They do have a good, very, very good tutorial video on how to use a lineup optimizer. So in my future videos, um, I'm not going to go full into how to use the optimizer. You can always go and click on that. Um, like I said, they do a very good job of explaining it. What I'm going to do each and every week is take a look at my own personal sheet, cheat sheet that I have for uh, my members, how I use that in concert with the fan share tools um, to come up with my GPP plays to kind of check um, and see who's going to be chalk. So just for instance, let's go have a look at the ownership dashboard at the top for just week one here on the main slate. And just give you a look. Um, if you ever want to find out who's chalk, this is a great way to find out who everyone is talking about to kind of see, I guess, mostly for cash games, um, to see if you're missing out on any players in your player pool that are maybe going to be very high owned or vice versa in GPP formats, find out which players you maybe out of all those chalk plays. What I do every week is maybe narrow it down to the top 10 um, highest owned players and see if I can find maybe players in the same price range at the same position that are going to be maybe a third or half the ownership of those chalk plays and try and find some pivots that can give us maybe the same uh, possible upside uh, for GPP at maybe half the ownership. I'm going to go into how I do that. Uh, stay tuned. Saturday, I will have that video out. Um, so make sure to subscribe and like the videos um, go and hit the notification bell on and you will get notifications when that next video drops so that pretty much covers all the basic stuff here that i wanted to cover um today just quick guidance into nfl for anyone that has not used fanshare sports in the past make sure when signing up to use code yeager you're going to get 20 percent off and they've got the early bird special 99.95 for the full year and that ends on september 12th so act fast before the week one uh, main slate kicks off. Thanks for tuning in and we'll talk to you soon.